Both Pentagon and Justice Department officials are now reviewing the latest blow to the policy Don't Ask, Don't Tell, which bans openly gay troops from serving in the military. Tuesday, a federal judge ordered the military to immediately stop enforcing the 17-year-old policy. I think every time we have a judge who finds what we've been arguing for 17 years, that this law is unconstitutional, is a great victory. Justice Department attorneys have 60 days to appeal the injunction, but it's unclear if they will. Currently, President Barack Obama is backing a Democratic effort to repeal the law. So it appears this latest ruling leaves the administration with two choices, either defend a law it opposes or do nothing and let the policy be overturned. Don't ask, don't tell could be here for years. Uh, if the administration appeals the ruling, as it probably will, uh, the case may have to work its way through the appellate process and then the Supreme Court. Uh, there's an impasse in the Senate. Seventy-five percent of the country wants Don't Ask, Don't Tell to end. Uh, even uh, important pockets in the military, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, wants Don't Ask, Don't Tell to end. But there's a political stalemate. Former members of the military who have been kicked out of the armed services because of the ban say they take this latest ruling with guarded optimism. We celebrate the victories when we have them. Uh, we know that there's still some more additional work to be done. Um, this is great on the judicial front. We still need to go back to Congress and come to Congress and say, look, you know, this is an unconstitutional law. You need to repeal it now. Zoe Dunning was one of the first tried under the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy. She is one of more than 13,000 service men and women estimated to have been fired since the Clinton administration era policy was enacted. You're not going to find this mass coming out. Uh, once Don't Ask, Don't Tell is repealed, you're not going to find troops suddenly flying out of the closet. I think people recognize that um, you know they want to be accepted, they want to be part of the group, they just want to not uh, fear for their job any longer. Defense Secretary Robert Gates and Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Mike Mullen have both said they support lifting the ban. However, both prefer to move more slowly. Currently, a bill to repeal the law has passed the House, but does not have the votes to clear the Senate. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.